Hello, I'm Finn Taylor. My show's called Real Talk and it's on at the Tron every night at 10.20pm. Um, I'm kind of halfway through the Fringe Festival now. Uh, how's your Fringe Festival been so far? Good, really enjoying it. Audience has been nice. I'm having fun. Uh, I'm starting to see shows now. I'm chilled out a bit with mine, so I'm seeing other stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. Um, so, in terms of when you first come up, is it an idea of working the show out in the venue you're in? And it kind of uh, stressing you no, out a bit? Or? Really, it's more the show just needs, you need to, I think everyone needs about three or four days to just get it, you know, how it needs to be. Like the, it's changed quite a lot over the, over the first week, and now I think it's going to be, so it's just about, yeah. It's kind of like a trial by fire. It's the same. Sort of, but it's more just getting the links tighter and squashing everything together and making it just mm. fun. That's a technical term. Um, yeah. Um, and in terms of uh, fringe festivals, how many have you been to before? Well, this is my sixth performing in a, no, fifth performing in a row, but basically my dad uh, is a drama teacher, so he always took, 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 took a school group here and my mum's family's met him. I basically I've come every year since I've been here. So it's always something I do in the summer. Did you ever perform drama up there as well? No. I did a sketch trip when I was at school for like a week in 2007, 8. Before I started stand up, but then no, I didn't do a play. Okay, that's fair. And in terms of uh, your show, Real Talk, what's the kind of subject? Well, it's, uh, it's mainly from the sort of mood of it is how you should trust your gut and not necessarily go in for all the self-improvement stuff. Like uh, it's kind of it's kind of like a, a, a celebration of the lowbrow, really. And it's, an, it's kind of an attack on people who take themselves too seriously. But that's not that's not such a high concept. That you know, it's just it's an hour stand-up first and foremost. It's not like a big narrative or or you know moral. Um, it's uh, I guess the kind of, I kind of got the idea when. Two things happened. Firstly, all my friends decided to go drinking for January, and I got really annoyed that. So I didn't have any friends. And uh, secondly, um, I was on a train last year in Edinburgh, and a dog yawned, and I yawned. And then I was like, well, what? I mean, <laughs> how is that a thing? <laughs> and I felt reality collapsing around me. So that that's uh, is that something you harboured from last year? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the, that, that was the kind of, it's weird, you get like a thought and you're like, oh, no, I've got to talk about that, I don't know why it's funny, but that has to be in the show, and then, yeah. Have you worked out why it was? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the thing that happens, you, you can catch yawns from dogs, which I think is quite a nice existential grounding in the universe, in that you can just, you have no control, you're just an animal, ultimately. But, um, yeah, so it's sort of, I mean, it's, yeah, it's good fun. It's not. It's not too kind of wanky and pretentious. Okay. Um, yeah. You're only dogs and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of, you said you've seen some other stuff this week. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that you pick as your kind of pick of fringe or ideas? Saw so, Celia Pacquola's show last night. Really great. Really, really good. Um, I'm doing a th another show with loads of people uh, called Bear Pit, which is like a podcast oh, yeah. recording that goes wrong. And so everyone in there's show is great. So Matt Ewins, John Kearns, Adam Hess, uh, Richard Gadd and Matt and Lolly, they're all brilliant, so I go see them. Uh, that's what I've seen. It's really good, like sort of David Elms, that's really good. Uh, I've seen a play, I don't know if we see plays, but my girlfriend's like producing some plays and stuff, so I've sort of seen like Inheritance oh, Blues at the Pleasant School, it was really great. Like a sort of musical, fun play. Normally I'm like, oh, plays are rubbish, they're boring, but this was great, so much going on. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's probably the best things I've seen. Um, in terms of uh, from starting out, coming out to, as a performer for the first time at the Fringe Festival. Coming out there. as a performer? Yeah, that was, that was a hard moment. <laughs> yeah, that's always difficult. It's the dog your joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, in terms of coming up here as a performer, uh, yeah. what do you feel the like you know now that you didn't know before? Uh, you know where to eat and where uh, not to eat. Uh, there's a place on the top of the Royal Mile end of Nicholson Street that does like deep fried cheeseburgers and deep fried pizza. You don't go there because it's just it's chaos. Do you want to plug a particular fast food chain? They make Pal it Palmyra is the, the daddy. But uh, it's, more, it's not so much what you know, it's more that you just get a feeling that you're meant to be up here and you sort of like 
feel like part of it. I think when you do your own show, you feel like you belong here, and so you sort of, you don't get as stressed out. You know, you're not worried that you're going to be found out. I think so much because you just you realise you're going to keep coming back, and it's a part of the thing. So yeah, I don't. I think you just kind of learn by trial by fire. Really, just don't get battered every night. Right. That's the key to because then if the show's going bad for you, it's just a vicious circle and you just can't ever escape. Um, no, I don't really have any advice. Well, that was quite good. Just enjoy it. Just see loads of stuff. See loads of stuff. Okay. Because there's so much here, and uh, if you try and like, oh, I'm working on my own show too much, you get all insular, and you see, you say your show, fucking once a, every every day for a month, you're gonna see some weird, you know, some other stuff. So yeah, see everything. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Not at all. Cheers. Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers.